Hello everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with an amazing video for you. Yes, it's going to be great, great, great. If you're new to my channel and you don't know about me, I'm a very extreme free couponer. I help people save money and help others via donation. So I also love makeup and I like doing some makeup videos. So if you see the couponing stuff behind me, you're probably like what is up with this that's what this is about so today i am doing a review of some it cosmetics these were sent to me from ulta they are great products hopefully i know that the reviews online are really really good um i have used the actual products i really really like it so i'm just going to go ahead and bring it to you i don't know if my teeth look yellow i've got a new computer and my teeth look yellow i have really really bright white teeth Anyways, so stick with me and let's get into this box. Okay, guys, let's see how it goes. Bye. Okay, guys, so I have a completely spotless face. It's perfectly clean, toned, moisturized. Yeah, perfectly clean face. So let's look at everything that's in this box. Um, I did an actual live unboxing and the other video, which I did, and I deleted because the product was completely broken when I got it. So I had to go back to Ulta and change it out. But essentially, I want you to see one of the first things that I got, which was a bonus kit. It's valued at $34. It contains quite a few different products. So one of the first products that it has is going to be the Bye Bye Under Eye. And then there is a brow powder right here. You have a mascara, and there is also an anti-aging confidence in a cream, and a CC Plus Cream SPF. So all of those come in this. This is a $34 value. It came with this kit. Uh, this kit is relatively expensive, or these items are relatively expensive. You can get them cheaper for, from QVC.com. I will include the link on Ulta, and I'll also include QVC.com. I don't benefit it either way, but I'm just going to provide it to you in case you want to actually capitalize on these items. Um, so let's look at some of the few things. In addition to that, I had like this little um, notebook here, this little piece of paper, and it shows a lady with a little bit of hyperpigmentation problems, and then it shows this right here. So this is CC cream. And then I did get a CC cream as well. Um, I have this right here. I never thought I would use it because I didn't think that it would work well, but actually as I was sitting here because I just got out of the shower, I was like, oh my eyebrows are terrible. So I decided to take this out and just try it out and seriously within not even one minute I was done with both eyebrows and I'm not even lying about that. So I'm just going to show you. It's supposed to be universal and it's um, taupe, universal taupe. So we have here, here is the product. And there's two sides. There's the spoolie. It's pretty nice. And then we actually have the product here. So it does twist up. And the thing that I like about this is it's kind of like a flat type. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see how that's kind of angled there. But really nice rectangular type. And the color... Um, it is a very nice universal color, so I do think that's very, very interesting. I got this before whenever they had this at um, Ulta when they first came out with this product and they had this available and you just had to go get the coupon and you could get it for free, but that's the product right there. I would recommend this right here. I really, really do like this. So there's that. Something that I purchased that I have yet to use and I've been waiting to use this on here is this cream right here. It's the Bye Bye Redness. And that's the top of it. So I have very bad problems with redness and a lot of issues with hyperpigmentation as well. So here's the mascara that came with the pack. It's pretty nice actually. Um, look at that. Pretty thick. Nice. I will be using that. And the color of that is super black. It says Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. My brush. And here is the under eye cream. This teeny tiny little under eye cream right here. Teeny tiny. And this is under, under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. Sounds awesome. 
And here is the big thing, the actual product that you're probably all watching for. And this is It Celebration Foundation. And the color that I'd actually got that was broken <laughs> when I got it, it was actually medium and it did not work for me. So you all may not know that I have a lot of little freckles. Do you see this? I have so many little freckles on my face and like I really don't have freckles here. I don't, I have some here, but like my face right here is just like freckles everywhere okay so the problem with me is number one I have redness number two I have freckles number three I have a lot of the hyperpigmentation I have problems with bags black dark circles I have all sorts of problems with my skin my skin is pretty good in the sense that I don't really get a lot of breakouts it's very very seldom that I'll have any type of skin imperfections that way <laughs> but I have every other problem under, you know, the sun, so, or the moon, or whatever you call. Uh, but anyway, so for me, when I'm getting a foundation, it's a little bit problematic because if you have the freckles and you use too light of a foundation, your freckles are going to take a really, just, it's going to not look nice at all. It's going to, they're going to shine through and it just does not look nice. It just makes it look like the foundation's way too light when in all actuality it may sort of meet your skin tone but because of the freckles it's just like ugh. um and then if you use something that's too dark to completely mask the freckles then like your neck is a different color than your body um or your neck is a different color than your face and you're like so it's kind of a lose-lose situation. So what I found out is if you use a full coverage, like a real full coverage uh, face makeup, like a Cover FX, hopefully it cosmetics, uh, if you use those, then you can actually get to your correct skin tone and not worry about having to put on way too much in a darker color to cover the freckles or putting on, caking on a whole lot, um, just more than you would normally want to. I have dry skin. So that's another consideration. It Cosmetics is supposed to work like when a wide variety of skin types. So hopefully that will work out well. Um, it says it is anti-aging, skin loving. Um, it says it has collagen, talc free, paraben free, cruelty free. So that is nice. Cruelty, cruelty. Adding some more syllables. Okay, so here we go. And we are going to get started with this right here. And it is in tan. Well, let me just show you the brush. Trying to abre this one. So the brush, I don't think you have to have this brush. I am, I have a lot of brushes. I have some very expensive brushes and I have some brushes that are inexpensive. And I think it really just depends on the independent brush. I don't think that you have to spend a lot of money to get a good brush. So I'm not going to say that, you know, this brush is better because it's a $50, $48 brush. Um, there are many like Wet n Wild. <laughs> brushes on point with wet and wild guys there are some like two three four five dollar brushes and those are awesome and i could seriously compare them to some mac brushes like wet and wild is on point uh, but this particular brush right here i love this brush i tried this out in the store and it is really expensive however i think if i'm going to use a full coverage foundation i think it's really good to have a good brush um but don't worry about it, guys. Pick which brush is going to work for you. You all have to really feel comfortable with what you get. This is what's good for me. So I like this brush, and I really think there are some great results with it. So that is it. This right here is $35, and this right here is $38. This is $48. So that's all the prices of everything that I've got. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do one side with just pure foundation and the other side I'm actually going to use like the under eye cream and the red cream and things of that nature. So I'm going to use very um, different products on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I like the Smashbox Photo Finish. It is really kind of just what I prefer to use. I have been trying out a CoverGirl Primer that I got with coupons for free at CVS. It's pretty nice. I mean, it really is nice and I like it, but I must admit that my all time favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. It leaves your skin feeling very, very velvety. Um, and in addition to that, you don't have to use a lot at all. So yes, it is expensive. However, the amount of product that you have to use is very minimal, okay? 
So it's not like some products that you'll use and you're like, man, I keep running out of this because I'm having to use so much. Like literally, I have probably the largest forehead on YouTube and wow, my nails are going out. I have probably the largest forehead on YouTube and that's how much I need to use for my forehead and that's probably too much. So, all right, face is ready to go. And I did moisturize my face. I think that is really important when you're coming in with dry skin to moisturize. See how red my face is? Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead with the uh, Pure Cosmetics just on one side. It Cosmetics, not Pure Cosmetics. Oh, wow, it comes with a little sponge. It's so cute. Um, it comes with a mirror. Hello. And then it um, it's pressed. Did you take the little thing off? No. <laughs> there you go. Pretty, right? Cool. Pretty cool. So let's get my brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in. Normally, I would be using a liquid foundation. Y'all seen the commercials of this woman when she does this makeup? It's like, what? My under eyes definitely need some attention, guys. All that I've got on is some cargo lash activator, but it isn't clear. So, my eyes need some bad attention. I'm trying to get in that little crease because that's where my nose gets so red. And it says this is a full coverage. So, it's not cakey at all. Wow. I love that. I don't know, guys. Do y'all see the... Let's see here. I should probably be putting my hair up in something, but that's okay. I'm just going to do this, wash my face, and then go to sleep. <laughs> this is really pretty. Okay. So, yeah, I'm loving this. I do like this. Um, redness perspective. Do you see all the red on my nose right here? My cheeks. And then right here, you really don't see that. So, yeah, I absolutely think that it covers a lot of the redness. So, that's nice. So, I think we could do a lot better with coupling a few more products, okay? I don't typically like a liquid with a powder. I am a person who's really against that. However, I was ensured that this would work with a liquid and a powder. I'm going to put this on here. That's thick. Okay. I'm going to put this right there. I'm just going to use a cream contour brush here. It's nothing special. And I'm going to go under my, oh my gosh, you see how thick that is? Lord have mercy. Uh, yeah, so in the picture, it shows where the woman has like a complete black eye, and it goes in, and this covers it, supposedly, and it takes away from the black eye, and it makes it with a complete, like, beautiful, radiant skin tone. So I am trying to get in here, and I promise you my eyes are not dirty underneath. I do have... Uh, the permanent makeup eyeliner, and I have permanent, well, it's on the upper and lower, and I have a permanent beauty mark. I always go right in here, guys, just because that gets very, very dark on me. Oh, look, I'm crying. Oh, it's so sad. My eye's so sad that the other one has the product and this one doesn't. <gasps> so sad. Oh, my God. Do y'all's eye, eyes water easy? Mine do. My eyes are very, very sensitive. So I'm going to actually come in just a little bit because my eyelids cast off a really red color as well. So I'm going to come in. I like to use my finger a lot because of the heat. Ooh, this may be a new favorite product. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't really know, guys. I don't know if it's taken away. I just need I need some Botox. Have y'all ever had Botox? Oh, we need Botox. <sighs> so under the eyes are extremely. I think they're lightened up, but I'm just really not feeling that it's just some miracle 
I don't know. It's pretty nice actually, but I'm not. Let me just go in here with a blender. I think it did really, really nice for my um the lid up there. It looks very, very pretty. You know, it feels really buildable though, so that is, you know, I'm really starting to like that. I love cover cover FX, but there is a little bit of an issue with um, once you do build it, I get a little cakey. So I like how this is feeling. It's not feeling that way. And I think that if I played with it just a little bit longer, to be honest with you, I think that I could really, really have an amazing outcome with this. I really do. So, oh, sorry, I'm itchy. I'm itchy. Okay, so the next product I'm going to use is the Bye Bye Redness. Um, dark, dark, dark. It's universal, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, brush I'm going to use is just another precision concealer brush. I just got that thing nasty on my finger. So I'm just going to go right in here and target some of my really bad areas. So this right in here is always terrible for me. Then I have You see that? It's really not like cakey at all. I do still have a problem right here though, and I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't know if this product will get rid of that under the eye. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. I'm actually gonna dab this one in, dab right in here. The bye bye under eye that I'm just putting a little bit more on. So let's get some color on me because I am completely washed out right now. Now it doesn't necessarily look like green or gray or anything like that. It just definitely kind of draws you out. I don't think you could wear that without anything else. You would have to wear a product. Uh, so let's go ahead and use our handy dandy celebration foundation. I wonder how the liquid one would be. I can't believe I'm putting a powder over a liquid. I always say I don't do that. It just feels unnatural other than if I'm just like caking or using like powder to do that. But I typically only use a spray to set my makeup so this feels very awkward. So when I was had the opportunity to try this out I was like oh, okay. I'll try it. See how I like it. Ooh. You're probably wondering, like, just swipe it on, Mary, but I'm not going to do that because the last thing I want to do is disturb any of the products that I have on underneath because that would just kind of defeat the purpose of everything that I just did. All right, guys feel very very white like interestingly white right now um, I know I don't have on any blush or anything else so this is purely just the foundation which is really nice uh, I don't know I think it's very flawless when you look at it on this side apart from the fact that I've got to get in here and clean this up uh, I'm just not gonna be able to do that looking here at the mirror on my or the uh, camera lens on my cell phone or what is this called computer but apart from that, I think that this is very flawless. I mean, it's just very, very flawless. It does not feel sticky. Wow, it feels so nice. It doesn't really feel like I've got a whole bunch on my face. Um, I really am having a hard time seeing all of the freckles. Now, I can see some freckles here. 
Um, but I didn't put on like cake on the makeup. I'm sure I could have caked it on and really got a better effect out of it. I see just a few freckles and it's not like I'm trying to just completely hide the fact that I have freckles. Um, but I do like to have the skin a little bit more balanced. And I think that for this side, just the Bye Bye Redness really got rid of a bunch of the freckles, which was nice. The under eye concealer, honestly, uh, I think that there are some other ones that are a little bit better. And I'm just going to be honest with you, Maybelline has a awesome under eye concealer. So I don't know if that's something that I would ever buy. Now, to each his own, I just am not going to buy it. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage. Now, there's a little bit of a, of a problem because this is in medium. Maybe if it was lighter, I could really kind of work it out. I don't know. But it is not something that I am stoked about. Now, yeah, it's just not something I'm stoked about. It's not terrible. But for, what is this, $38, $48 for, you know, the difference between this and this, I just think all this looks like is a face with a bunch of makeup on trying to cover up this right here. So I think that this is a lot more flawless than this having on an expensive product. So that would be a no-go for me. Uh, let's see, this right here, it's still very, very pretty. You see a lot more of the freckles on this side than that side, which isn't bad. Uh, I love the Redness product. I think that is probably the favorite thing that I have thus far. I don't know what I did with it. Do you see that Redness product, Changa? La botellita. No? Anyways, the Redness product. Here it is. This right here, I think that this is probably my favorite thing right here because I think that it really gets rid of redness. I have no redness at all. See, I still have some right in here. I just wasn't able to get it here. It's gone. The red is gone away. So for me, that <laughs> is awesome. Um, this right here, I like it. I'm going to be a little bit more happy to try out the liquid foundation rather than this one right here. And I'm wondering how long when I wear it, you know, over the course of the day, how it's going to do because I do have dry skin. But I moisturize my skin very, very well. And I use a good primer. But all in all, I would say $35 to $38. I think it covers redness. I think that's very nice. Uh, is it my favorite foundation in the entire world? Probably not. But I think it's a really good foundation and probably the best thing is that I don't feel the only underlying thing that I feel is the Smashbox photo primer so I really don't even feel that I have any foundation on at all um, this side right here oh it just feels so heavenly soft I love this yep if it were if I had it to do over again if I had the opportunity to buy these right here this is what I would get I think you can get away with not having this expensive brush though. But this right here, if you have red skin, buy this. It covers up freckles too, which is amazing. Um, and I think this is really, really good, especially for like a bit beginner, good foundation. Like a foundation that's gonna carry you through and you don't really know how to apply makeup very well. Yeah, very, very good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I've been wanting to bring this to you. I am super stoked about it. I'll do full makeup, then I'll get on the front and I'll talk to y'all about it. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye!